minutes. You know, one time my wife cooked pot roast and I spent all day just chewing it. Just chewing and chewing and chewing. I'm like, why you gotta be so chewy, you bitch ass pot roast? So I started throwing haymakers. Me and my wife were scuba diving off the coast of Australia, right? And then we come up on this big, dark, scary trench. And my wife wants to go through the trench, but I want to go over the trench because it's a scary trench. I'm, I'm saying there has to be monsters in there. So we decide to go over the trench and we see this cute little jellyfish. And my wife names it Squishy and she starts touching it. And I'm like, don't touch it. It's a jellyfish. And then next thing we know, there's all these jellyfish all around us. And then we're like surrounded by jellyfish. We're in like a goddamn forest of jellyfish. And I'm like, oh no, what are we going to do? We're going to get stung to death by all these jellyfish. But then we realize we can get through the jellyfish by bouncing on top of them. So then we start having like a jellyfish race to see who can get through the jellyfish forest the fastest. And I win, obviously. And then I look back and I see my wife and she's all tangled up in jellyfish tentacles getting stung. So I'm like, oh God, I got to go back and get her. So I go back and I'm getting stung by all the jellyfish and I get stung so much I black out. And when I wake up, I'm on the back of a sea turtle and he calls me Jelly Man because I took on the jellies. And he's like, you were like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, so I got stung by a jellyfish last summer. Yeah, I remember it just like it was this summer, but it was last summer. I was at the beach with my wife Karen, and she was sunbathing, and all the lifeguards thought she was a beached whale, so they wanted to blow her up, because that's what they do to beached whales. And I was like, no, 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 that's not a beached whale, that's just my wife. And I was making the sandcastle, and oh, it was the coolest sandcastle ever, you should have seen it. And then out of nowhere, this huge wave comes and just wipes out my sandcastle. So I'm like, bitch-ass ocean? So I run into the water, and I start throwing haymakers, trying to teach that ocean a lesson. But then the problem is I can't really swim too good and I get caught in a rip current so I get sucked out to sea and the lifeguard sees me but he can't swim either. I mean what a terrible lifeguard. What kind of lifeguard can't swim? So I'm just out there drowning and I think I'm going to die so I'm looking for any way I can to save myself and then I see this jellyfish. So I'm thinking oh I can just grab onto this jellyfish and ride him to shore. So I grab onto the jellyfish's tentacles and he starts stinging the shit out of my hands. So I'm like bitch ass jellyfish and I start throwing haymakers and every Every time I hit the jellyfish, he's just stinging me more and more. And I'm in so much pain, I'm getting stung by a jellyfish, and I'm still drowning. I'm like five feet underwater by this point. And then, and then I see a scuba diver, and he sees me, and he puts his oxygen mask on me so I can breathe, and he takes me back to shore, and I thank him. And as I'm walking up the beach, I step on a seashell, and I'm like, bitch-ass seashell, so I start throwing haymakers. And then every time I hit the, I hit the sand, it's just hurting my hands more and more, and I'm realizing it's because that jellyfish stung me. So then, I go back into the ocean to find that bitch-ass jellyfish. And then I go out there and the jellyfish pulls up in a box Chevy with all his buddies and they start kicking my ass. And they're stinging me all over the place. And one of them gave me a wet willy sting right in the ear. That hurt like hell. So then I get stung up and it's just a whole big problem. And then finally I'm done at the beach and my wife won't even take me to McDonald's afterwards.